Hello everyone and welcome to a new episode with Your Soul Essentials. Today I want to start a new series about dragons. Their energy, what they stand for and how you can meditate with the beautiful essential oil I want to discuss with you or share with you that information for the coming weeks. And for today, I want to start with the Water Dragon. The Water Dragon is all about heart healing. The time has come to drop the walls around your heart, to forgive, repent and find absolution within yourself. The Water Dragon has shown up because you are at a breaking point. Until you let the walls and facades crack, the full light of your soul cannot shine through and allow the limitless bounty of the divine to grace you or others. You have reached another layer within the depths of ancient traumas, whether from this lifetime or compiled from many others. Let another layer of the onion skin peel back and reveal a deeper beauty within your core. Let the water dragon take you within to see the inner chamber and embrace what you find. There may be a hard shell, brusque manner of pattern of response that needs to soften. Allow yourself to see and be seen by others. Where do you need to be more gentle with yourself or others? The water dragon is connected to the emotional body. The water dragon is also standing for forgiveness and absolution. It's all about to do with the heart healing. What does forgiveness mean? Forgiveness means different things to different people. But in general, it involves an intentional decision to let go of resentment and anger. The act that hurt or offended you might always be with you. But working on forgiveness can lessen that grips on you. It can help free you from the control of the person who harmed you. Sometimes forgiveness might even lead to feelings of understanding, empathy and compassion for the one who hurt you. Forgiveness doesn't mean forgetting or excusing the harm done to you. It also doesn't necessarily mean making up with the person who caused the harm. Forgiveness brings a kind of peace that allows you to focus on yourself and helps you go on with your life. Letting go of grudges and bitterness can make way for improved health and peace of mind. It can also result in healthier relationships, an improved mental health or even improved self-esteem. Forgiveness is a commitment to change. It takes practice. Getting another person to change isn't the point of forgiveness. It is about focusing on what you can control in the here and now. Think of forgiveness more about how it can change your life by bringing you peace, happiness and emotional and spiritual healing. Forgiveness can take away the power the other person continues to have in your life. The first step is to honestly assess and acknowledge the wrongs you've done and how they have affected others. Avoid judging yourself too harshly. If you're truly sorry for something you've said or done and want forgiveness, consider reaching out to those you've harmed. Speak of your sincere sorrow or regret. Ask for forgiveness without making excuses. You can't force someone to forgive you. 
others need to move to forgiveness in their own time. Remember, forgiveness is a process. Whatever happens, commit to treating others with compassion, empathy and with respect. What does absolution mean? Since the Latin absolutus means set free, it is easy to see how absolution came to mean set free from sin. The verb for absolution is to absolve. Just as a priest absolves believers of their sins, you may absolve your sister or brother of blame for a household disaster. Or you yourself may in time be absolved for that scrape on the car backing out of a parking space. The water dragon is also connected to the water element in astrology. What this means, I will tell you now. The water element is all about the feeling principle and it is connected to the signs Cancer, Scorpio and Pisces. These three signs, they reflect the best, the water temperament. The element of water corresponds to the emotional realm of feelings, where the sub subtleties of meaning and interrelatedness are perceived. Water represents the energy and power of unconscious forces that motivate us. Individuals with an emphasis of water often express themselves through their sympathy, compassion and intuitive awareness. Water seeks emotional and soul understanding. A very beautiful essential oil that represents the water dragon energy is bergamot. Bergamot is also the oil of self-acceptance. Bergamot relieves feelings of despair, self-judgment and low self-esteem. It supports individuals in need of self-acceptance and self-love. Bergamo invites the individuals to see life with more optimism. It has a cleansing effect on stagnant feelings and limiting belief systems because of core beliefs of being bad, unlovable and not good enough, they seek to hide behind the facade of cheerfulness. They may fear revealing their true thoughts and feelings. Bergamot's powerful cleansing properties generate movement in the energy system in which turns brings hope. In this way Bergamo is wonderful for those who feel down and hopeless. It awakens the soul to hope and offers courage to share the inner self, reigniting optimism and confidence in the self, it imparts true self-acceptance. Bergamot teaches individuals to let go of their self-judgment by learning to love themselves unconditionally. How can I use this wonderful essential oil? It's very easy. When you have a bottle in your possession, just use it. You can inhale from the bottle directly or diffuse when you have a diffuser. Or dilute one to three drops with carrier oil and apply it over your heart area, your solar plexus or on your forehead. Or you can even take one or two drops under the tongue in a capsule or in water. Please feel free to meditate on this beautiful energy of the water dragon and I see and hear you in the next episode with your soul essentials.